Hello everyone, my name is Kitana from Technology Enablement at Supermicro. I'm an engineer here, and today we'll be going over introducing Intel Gaudi 3 with the new Xeon 6 chip processor. Supermicro has always been at the forefront of AI innovation. Did you know that we are the first to bring Habana Labs Gaudi 1 and Gaudi 2 systems to market? That's right, Supermicro led the way in delivering cutting edge AI technology solutions powered by Intel's groundbreaking accelerators. Being the first to market, Supermicro has proved its ability to rapidly integrate new technologies by using our unique building block solutions. This ensures that our customers always have the greatest innovations with AI and machine learning. Now, with the launch of Gaudi 3, Supermicro continues its legacy of leadership in AI. Enhance the power of innovation firsthand. Visit our website or contact us today to explore how our systems can transform your AI workload. So what is Supermicro's X14 Intel Gaudi solution? Well, this includes the Intel Gaudi 3 AI Accelerator, the Xeon 6 processor with 6900P series, our system, the Super Server from Supermicro, and additionally, the software from Intel Gaudi Software Suite. Supermicro's X14 Gaudi 3 Server for Enterprise gives you more options for LLMs and generative AI. It delivers both outstanding performance for both training and inferencing tasks. It has shorter lead times and it has a lower total cost of operation. So this is better price for performance. Additionally, we have the latest server platform from Supermicro featuring the X14 generation. Supercharged with Intel Xeon 6900 series CPU with P cores, it is an 8U air-cooled system and it's in production and shipping now. It's an open platform with an open source software stack. This means that there are no licensing costs for the software. Additionally, it only takes as little as three lines of code to modify and do migrations. Introducing Gaudi 3 Intel specs. So comparatively to Intel Gaudi 2, we've increased the HBM capacity and bandwidth. Now it's featuring 120 gigabytes of HBM capacity, 3.7 terabytes per second of HBM bandwidth. The thermal design power has increased to 900 watts TDP. We are using PCIe generation five and support all popular AI data types. Here we have Supermicro's X14 Intel Gaudi 3 AI server featuring two Intel Xeon 6900P series CPU, and it's available now. Next up, come take a tour with me. We'll be featuring the Gaudi 3 at our headquarters data center. Next, we'll walk through setting up, download the latest BIOS and firmware. From BIOS, switch to the tab Advanced. Select CPU configuration and the Advanced Power Management configuration. Under this tab, we want to enable Legacy Optimized Mode. Then go back to Directories. Select chip step configuration, then select on core configuration. Scroll down to SNC and disable this feature. Go back to directories and switch to the save and exit tab. Save the changes and reset the system. Click yes to continue. For the Gaudi software system setup, you wanna open up the terminal and run the command sudo apt-get update to update the package index files on the Linux system. Don't forget to use a hyphen. Run the command sudo apt-get upgrade-y to install all currently installed packages on your system to the latest available versions with the dash y flag to automatically indicate yes. We're facing a little warning. It says possible missing firmware. Just click okay. Um, these will update the outdated libraries. Once the updates and upgrades have completed, Run the following command, sudo wget nv bracket Havana Vault library bracket. Then list the directories by running ll. Upon success, run the next command, sudo chmod plus x Habana Labs installer.sh to enable execution of this file. Then execute the script using dot slash Habana Labs installer install dash type base. 
Select Yes to install the following libraries. The installation will complete. If you run into any issues, select the appropriate notes. Attempt to reinstall the Habana Labs installer script. First, run the command sudo apt install ftool. Ftool is used as a query to query and control network device driver hardware settings. Use sudo apt install IPMI tool. Once completed, run the command sudo reboot -h now, which executes the command with super user privileges to reboot the system for the Docker OAM updates. First run sudo hlsmi and then sudo hlsmi-l pipe grip SPI. sudo hlsmi-l is the Habana Labs system management interface tool. The dash L flag lists all the detected GPUs along with their unique identifiers, such as the PCI addresses or device IDs on systems using the Intel Habana Gaudi GPU. We're gonna run a couple commands with modprobe dash R. Habana Labs, CN, IV, EN. CN is the core network. It removes the module which is responsible for relating the network related operations of on Gaudi devices, such as the PCIe communications and memory management between devices. The IV command is removes the InfiniBand module, which handles InfiniBand communication on Gaudi devices. The EN removes the Ethernet module responsible for Ethernet providing network. Verify that both operations have been successfully executed. We need to reboot the system. Okay, so installing Docker. First run the command sudo hlsmi to verify that the firmware and drivers have been properly updated. Once that is done, we're gonna run a for loop that removes all the Docker Podman container D packages that may be on the system already, and we're just gonna remove those packages. Then we wanna run the command sudo install dash M0755 dash D keyrings, because we wanna get specific GPG keyrings for these modern ADT verification. And then we're gonna run the command sudo curl dash FSSL and download the Docker package. After that, we'll run sudo chmod a plus r, ensures that the Docker GPG key is readable by all users and processes. And then we'll run another verification just to see that we have this file. Then we're going to run the command sudo apt install docker to install all the associated components and plugins required for a Docker setup on Ubuntu. After we've installed every component, then run the command sudo docker run hello world to verify that docker has been installed and works as expected. Next, we'll modify a JSON file so that we add the line default runtime is Habana. Uh, we want to write, save, and exit that file. Run the command sudo system ctl restart docker to restart the docker daemon and refresh the configurations. Troubleshoot any issues and apply updates. Pull the latest Habana Labs image and run it using sudo. List out the container contents by typing out ll. Um, this just verifies that we're inside that container. We have everything. Exit to list the Docker images. You just do sudo docker psa. For the optional BIOS upgrade, log in to the BMC with the appropriate credentials and IP address. You will see a dashboard with the system host power consumption and remote control preview tabs listed upon load. 
Select the window for remote control preview to open up another web page which pulls up the terminal and IP address of the system as a web address. Power off this machine. Go back to the BMC page and select the firmware update tab. This should be at the top. Select step one, select type. Select the BIOS and then select an immediate update. Unselect all other requirements and then continue. Next, we have to select the file. Upload the appropriate file and then continue. Verify that the file version of the new and existing file versions are appropriate. Then continue to upgrade. After the update, open another web page and navigate to the Intel Gaudi docs. Under the installation tab, select system modifications and final test. We can scroll down a little bit if you have any further questions on um, how to set this up. This is the best resource that you can go to, is the Intel Gaudi docs. After the update, relaunch the remote console again and power down. Are you ready to unlock the full potential of AI computing with Supermicro's Gaudi 3 AI system? Now you can test it remotely using Supermicro's innovative Gemstart program. With Gemstart, you can test, validate, and benchmark your AI workloads from anywhere at any time. This program offers secure remote access to fully configured systems with SSH, BNC, and Web IPMI. Ready to see what Supermicro's Gaudi 3 can do for your AI projects? Sign up for the Jumpstart program today to discover how you can transform your AI workloads with ease. Visit Supermicro's website to register for Jumpstart and start optimizing your AI performance today. That wraps up the introduction for Supermicro's Gaudi 3 system with Intel's new powerful CPU. If you enjoyed this walkthrough or have any questions about setting up your own system, Drop a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for more deep dives into tech innovation. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more tech insights.